guys, my name is Brittany, I'm 21 and I'm from Houston, Texas. I am filming this video today as my intro video for my YouTube channel. I've had a dream and a goal now to start this channel for a few months and I am finally starting and I'm super excited, nervous, um, but I'm just excited to share my fitness journey with you guys and you know, honestly, it's my goal to challenge someone, motivate someone um, because I can't tell you how life-changing it was for me to find someone on YouTube and on Instagram that motivated me and that pushed me in the gym. So if I can just motivate one person, I will be satisfied. So a little bit about myself. Like I said, I'm 21. Um, I started my fitness journey about three, three and a half years ago. And for those of you that are new and are just now starting your fitness journey, do not be discouraged. I knew nothing about working out when I started. I didn't know which muscle groups were where. I didn't know which workouts worked, which muscle groups. Um, I knew what none of the machines did in the gym. I went to the gym. I would walk on the treadmill for an hour and a half every single day. And trust me, do not do that because you will get unmotivated like that. I promise you. Um, so um, whenever I started, I started eating really healthy. And I would just, you know, I cut out all processed foods, packaged foods. I was just eating whole foods, um, chicken, beef, uh, fish, and then just any kind of fruits and vegetables. Um, and I noticed that I started dropping weight like that. Whenever I grew up, I was a cheerleader from the time that I was five until 18. I tore my meniscus uh, when I was 18. I had surgery and I was not allowed to cheer anymore. Um, so I wasn't as active. And growing up, I ate whatever I wanted whenever I wanted and I would never gain weight. My metabolism was super fast and I was really active. And once I tore my meniscus and I couldn't cheer anymore, I was still eating like I was in high school and I started realizing that I was gaining weight in places I had never gained weight before. So I immediately realized that I needed to change my lifestyle or else I was gonna get to a point where I wasn't gonna be happy with myself. So you know, very unhappy with the way I was feeling. I felt really unhealthy. I was really drained all the time, tired. Um, so that's what I decided to do. I decided to you know, start kicking it in the gym and eating healthy and I tell you like it, just like every person that starts a diet, um, you know, I gave up a lot and you're gonna do that when you're first starting and just don't get discouraged. I promise you, I think I started over my diet about two or three times before and I actually stuck with it. And once you start doing it long enough, it becomes a lifestyle and you just, I mean, it's just what you do. When you go out to eat, you just automatically look for something healthy on the menu. Um, so I'm not saying you can't ever eat bad, I do cheat a lot <laughs> um i you know i praise myself and i don't i'm not you know into competing or anything like that so i don't strict myself to this only eat vegetables and chicken every single day diet you know i treat myself and i do still eat packaged foods there's nothing wrong um i just follow a, a macro counting diet i count my macros i weigh all my food whenever i eat and that works for me um if you're a type of person where you have to eat the same thing every day to stay motivated or um you know you have to follow a diet plan that's perfectly fine i find that macro counting works best for me because i can still eat what i want sometimes as long as it fits within my numbers for the day um so on my youtube channel i'm going to be posting workouts um you know just daily tips of you know things that can help you whenever you're you know you're starting your fitness journey and i just want to let you know that there's going to be times where you want to give up and there's going to be times where you feel like you're working out and eating healthy and you're not noticing any changes in your body um but you know whenever you push yourself long enough you're going to start seeing results and it's all worth it even if you don't see yourself like physically changing you're going to start feeling a huge difference in your body um so just keep in mind that whenever you do start your fitness journey um whenever you start eating healthy and working out just make sure you always listen to your body whenever you're full don't push yourself to eat more if you're not hungry at all don't force yourself to eat eat and if you're sore and you know you're supposed to work out that day let your body rest it's all about listening to your body that's going to be the main thing that's going to help you with your fitness journey um so i'm really excited to start this and i'm actually going to post a leg workout today i'm actually about to go in my garage and do legs so i'm going to upload my very first workout today and i'm really excited um so if you guys want to follow me on instagram my uh, instagram username is brit michelle allen so i will put it on this video that way you can go follow me on there i also post little clips of workouts and progress your pictures progress pictures sorry you can tell i'm really excited um on there so make sure you follow me on there and i'm really excited to start this journey um on youtube and you know to continue my fitness journey and I'm always open to help anyone. If you ever need any help or you have questions, please feel free to comment on you know my YouTube channel or message me on 
uh, Instagram and I'm more than happy to help you out. So please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated on my workouts and tips. So with all that being said, uh, let's get into the workout guys. So to start off this workout this evening, I started with some squats. Uh, my knee has been bothering me lately, so I'm starting to go lower in weight and more reps on leg day right now until my, my knee starts healing up a little bit. So to start off, I did squats, 10 pounds on each side with a 45 pound barbell. Uh, make sure you're keeping your back straight and you're squatting down as low as you can. My legs are shoulder width apart. I'm just doing a standard squat and keeping the weight all the way on my heels. Uh, make sure that you're not you know, bending out of a 45 degree angle and make sure you're just squatting down as low as you can. That way you can feel all of the work you know, being targeted in your butt area. Um, this is a compound movement, so it does work multiple muscles in your legs, so always keep that in mind when you're doing squats. So next I'm moving into overhead plated lunges. I have a 35 pound plate above my head right now, which is a pretty good weight for me uh, without it being too heavy. Um, so right now I have these weighted resistant little bands over my legs. I got these at Academy and I've been using them a lot lately. I can feel my my legs and my butt burn way more whenever I started using these. So for these overhead plated lunges, I did three sets of eight to 10 reps. Um, it just depends on how my knee was feeling. So try to shoot for 10 if you can. Um, otherwise you can do between, you know, eight and 10 reps. And if you feel as if 10 reps is not enough, always, you know, you can go up to 12 to 15 reps if you wanna either up your weight or and do less reps or lower your weight and do more reps. Okay, next I am moving into hip thrusts. So these are really awkward to do at home right now because my bench is stuck in a decline position and I cannot get it up. So these were a little awkward for me today. Um, so whenever you do hip thrusts, just make sure that you're not placing that barbell right on your hip bones or else it's gonna be very uncomfortable. I put mine a little bit above and then just Touch your butt to the ground and push all the way back up in a bridge position and you should feel this in your glutes and your hamstrings. Um, I've been doing these a lot lately. I can feel the burn and I really enjoy doing these for, you know, an underbutted area. Moving into that next exercise, we are going to be doing the leg extensions. I have a 45 pound plate on this machine right here and I did three sets of 12 reps. Make sure after each rep, you're trying to squeeze and contract those muscles at the top of each rep. Um, right here, I was having a hard time doing it. Um, and then typically, usually whenever I do leg extensions, I will, after all 12 reps, I will hold that position at the top for about 10 to 12 seconds so I can let my muscles burn. Um, and then after the very third set, I will hold at the very top until I can no longer hold anymore. Yay, next is deadlifts. I love doing deadlifts even though I was going light today. Um, so deadlifts usually work your booty area and your hamstrings if you were doing them correctly, but they can also work your back. It is very important to keep your back straight whenever you are doing deadlifts. I sometimes have a slight bend in my knee. Um, sometimes I do them stiff-legged, so it kind of just depends on what you're wanting to target that day. Um, these are actually a great overall workout. Um, these are something that I absolutely love doing to target my butt area, and I never get tired of doing these. So just make sure your back straight, um, push the bar all the way to the ground and pull back up and make sure you squeeze your butt at the very top um, to squeeze those muscles together after each rep. Okay, lastly, I am doing these vertical leg press slash squats. I don't really know what they're called. These things work amazingly. Um, they're kind of awkward to do if you're at a gym, but just don't really care what other people think. Just do what's going to help you get those gains. So you're going to put weight on each side, and you're going to be pushing your legs in an upward position, and you should be able to feel this in your butt and your hamstring area. Um, those are great target areas for this exercise, and you should be able to feel the burn after about the second or third rep, because I know I do. Um, so just make sure you're pushing those legs up, and you're squeezing your butt uh, as you're pushing your legs up to the top. 
Hi guys, okay, so I just got done doing my leg workout. Sorry if I look a little bit different than I did in my intro video. I uh, washed all my makeup off before I did my workout. Uh, I hate working out in makeup just because I feel like whenever I sweat, my makeup's just running and I feel like it's clogging on my pores and I just hate that feeling. So I hardly ever work out with makeup on. Um, so right now I'm cooking some dinner, uh, fueling my body after a workout. It's very important to fuel your body right after you work out and give it all the nutrients it needs. So right now I'm making something that has a good source of protein as well as carbs. So I'm making some spaghetti. So right here I have my meat simmering. Um, it's already all mixed in with the sauce and seasoning, so I'll show you guys what I use. So it's just regular ground beef, 93% lean, 7% fat. And then I added this tomato and basil uh, spaghetti sauce. And then just a few seasonings I added, just regular pepper, uh, some pink salt, minced garlic, love this stuff, I'm addicted. Onion powder. And then lastly, I use this original blend Mrs. Dash uh, seasoning. Mrs. Dash is a great seasoning to use if you guys are watching your sodium levels because it does have zero sodium. Um, it's actually a salt-free seasoning. All, there's, all of her seasonings are. Um, so if you're trying to watch your sodium levels, definitely get this. Or even if not, get it anyways. It has great flavor. It adds great flavor to your food. Um, and it has zero everything. The only thing it has is 10 milligrams potassium, which isn't going to hurt anything. So um, this is definitely a go-to as a amazing flavor um, right here I have my noodles boiling so I picked up these noodles from Kroger and I'm really excited to try them out I always see them uh, but I've never really gotten the urge to buy them and for some reason the last time I was at Kroger I just happened to pick them up so they're actually super green risoni spaghetti noodles but they're enriched with kale zucchini parsley broccoli and spinach and it has um, three servings of vegetables for every portion and it has a great amount of vitamins five different vitamins and minerals and then it has a great source of fiber so i'm really excited to try this out i will let you guys know what it tastes like if it has a really vegetable -y taste for those of you that don't really like vegetables um all right so as soon as i have it prepared i will show you guys the finished product okay guys so i just got done cooking i'm eating my meal now i'm going to show you guys the finished product but i'm also going to post a picture on the screen because I got really hungry and impatient and I went ahead and indulged into it and it looked way more appetizing before I mixed it all together. But this is what it looks like. It looks a little unappetizing because the noodles are green, but please don't let that scare you away. I promise you once it's mixed together with the sauce, uh, you cannot taste any difference in between these noodles and regular noodles. Um, I'm not gonna lie, when I was cooking it, I taste tested a noodle to make sure they were done and I kinda got scared because I did taste a lot of vegetable -y taste into it. Um, but once I just mixed it all together with the sauce and I put a little bit of cheese on it, it's actually really good. I'm definitely going to be making this more often. Um, my fiance doesn't eat any vegetables, nothing green, anything. He doesn't eat anything but meat, cheese, and potatoes. And you think I'm over exaggerating, but I'm really not. Um, so I'm really excited to make this. I bet he'll actually like it. Um, so I can actually make something that we'll both eat. So, like I said in my intro, I'm really excited to start this journey and just share, you know, my fitness journey and lifestyle with you guys in hopes to motivate other people. Um, you know, whenever you work out, you need to make it fun and make it interesting and don't eat chicken and rice for every single meal because you can make meals that are still good that fit with your macros if you count macros or fit within, you know, the healthy range that you want to stay in. Like these noodles, they're all vegetables. It's complete vegetables, but it's absolutely amazing. And... You know, I just use some regular meat, but you can do use different seasonings to make it taste good or different sauces that have flavors. So just make sure you make your fitness life fun and don't work out because you have to work out. Work out because you want to work out. Make it a hobby. That's what I did. And now I'm obsessed with working out and I can't stand to go a day without it. Um, so, you know, just make sure you keep everything fun. Don't bore yourself because you're going to get bored and unmotivated really quick. Uh, so like I said, I'm really excited to start this journey, uh, share some uh, recipes, fit tips, you know, um, all different kinds of stuff with you guys, workouts. So just make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel uh, so you never miss a video again. And I will see you guys in the next video. Good night, guys.